Hey guys, we're here today in the beautiful city of Zurich at the headquarter of Swiss Re. And we're here today with Thierry Leger, who is the CEO of Life Capital and also member of the Group Executive Committee. And we're here to find out more about the trends and current state in insurance and especially reinsurance. Thank you for taking your time. It's a great pleasure. When we look at the insurance industry and reinsurance industry, where do you see the challenges um, we are facing as an industry currently? I mean, who likes to buy insurance? We? You? I don't like to. Okay. Do you? No, no. No, isn't it? So maybe cars, maybe clothes, I don't know. It depends on pre uh, personal preferences. I've never ever met anyone that wants to buy insurance. So that's the single biggest challenge we face. Nobody's looking out for us. The other thing is the way people interact today, they're yeah. used to mobile, phone, uh, but not to the, uh, to the agents coming to your home any, uh, anymore. So that needs to change totally. You will see that the protection gap, even in Germany, even in Switzerland, is actually um, pretty big. Yeah. In other countries, such as the US, it's huge. In Asia, it's like uh, trillions and trillions. And these are people who should buy insurance, but they don't. Typical life protection insurance. The father dies, yep. the family stays without money. And that is, a, is kind of a personal failure all, almost that I feel for the insurance industry. The, the problem is too large just for one party to solve it. Yep. Uh, I think if we really want to tackle uh, the protection gap in the way of how we can distribute products in a more efficient way, uh, which ultimately will lower the relevant uh, premium because acquisition costs is one of the high burdens we have in our yep. underlying premiums. Then I think we need to look at uh, you know, new ways of collaborating across these challenges. What kind of trends do you see there? We are convinced insurance you know, will play a very important role uh, in, in going forward. Banks, we continue to sell insurance. But there's these emerging um, platforms yeah. uh, that you see, ecosystems. Yeah. And uh, we think that they will combine two things. On the one hand, they have hundreds of millions or billions of customers. Um, insurance companies have usually no access to. And on the other hand, they buy stuff. They, um, they are built around the need of a customer that uh, we in insurance don't have access to. So we do what we actually want to do is engage with those partners. Well, I, I think generally the industry is a bit of a, uh, in the crossroad of uh, the old way and the new way, I think. We, um, a lot of people have talked about how the industry will transform itself. Um, I think, however, a lot of people are still reliant on the way of how things used to be done. Yeah. And I think we're just in that midsection where the old business model works and people are testing out the new ones. And um, I think for us, what our purpose really is to assist people to go through that relevant crossroads and move into the new arena of how insurance can be uh, in particular distributed to end consumers in a more effective way. How could insurer or reinsurer react? We actually build our own technology. Okay. We are much more assemblers. Yeah. So we have a, a kind of a, what we call API enabled yeah. um, microservices platform. Um, so we attach different yeah. service providers to our platform. If you don't like a service provider anymore, we change it. You know, our sole purpose is to embed other people's brand into a customer journey. I, th I think I'm most proud of uh, making insurance more accessible uh, to individuals uh, in six countries where we are today and another two we will add th by the end of this year. Um, and we make them more accessible through, through you know, partnering up with their most favorite brand. In addition to that, we also created an insurance balance sheet. Yeah. Because a lot of these parties do not have a balance sheet capability in some of these countries. Yeah. And frankly, also to really drive technology evolutions, you have to be very much aligned to regulatory changes. And, and, and sometimes just being a tech company isn't enough. You have to be an insurance and a tech company. That's why we call ourselves more a risk tech than a pure tech company. If the Q stands for is actually a, a platform insurer, which means a B to B to C. So B to B, we engage yeah. with a platform, a famous brand. Yeah. And then B to C, we sell insurance to the customers of that platform, of that brand. Okay, you disrupt 
the, the whole value chain of the insurance industry. How about your current customer base, the primary insurer? insurer? Aren't they are going to hate you? Good question, uh, but actually today we are already with FTQ engaging primarily with insurance ah, okay. companies. So we help them actually on that journey, um, for example, enter a new digital uh, market uh, faster or digitize their current offerings. So there are many ways with FTQ we can also help our current clients. But isn't that actually also a big danger for the insurance industry for those who don't participate in that? Absolutely, yes, there are winners and losers. And I think uh, the losers are those who, who don't adapt, those who don't accept uh, the challenge, those who don't see the opportunity behind the challenges. So far, it's a fact, reinsurance has been relatively protected, but we can see attackers already yep. in the net cat side with ILS and other alternative markets. Uh, I think there are a lot of models around, and as a reinsurer, you have to be um, very, very uh, clear about what's going on and the opportunities offered by technology. and. Swissy has always been at the forefront and uh, we will remain there.